What's up? My name is Andy. Welcome to the Andy's Auto YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button below. If you are not new here, you'll notice that I cut my hair nice and short. Feels a lot better in the summertime. Today we're going to be doing a valve cover gasket on this Hyundai Sonata. Stay tuned. But first, I wanted to announce we've got some Andy's Auto merch now. We got a hat, a shirt, a sticker, a coffee mug, and even a hoodie. You can find these items listed below the video, or you can go to my channel page and you can find them under the store section. If you're interested in supporting the channel while also getting some pretty cool gear for yourself, go ahead and check those out. Now back to the video. Alright, so this is what our engine looks like before anything is taken apart. So we're going to go ahead and get the engine cover off and go from there. Alright, so once the engine cover is removed, this is what we're working with here. We're doing valve cover gaskets today. I did spark plugs on this vehicle a few days ago and the tube seals are leaking so we need to go ahead and address that before it causes any further issues. Mostly what we're going to be doing is taking apart a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. We're going to start with the coils and we're going to go ahead and get these hoses off as well. So we got 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. There's another 10 here and here that, and then here. Those hold on this uh, bracket for the harness there. We want to take those off. We want to take this hose off. We also want to take this hose off. Then. We're also going to get started on removing this high pressure fuel pump, which has a couple of electrical connectors, or at least one electrical connector, and then um, a couple of lines going to it. So once we get that removed, we can unbolt it, start going around the perimeter of the valve cover. All of those are, are also 10 millimeter bolts. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do before we really get into anything is take the fuse out of this cavity right here. It's going to be yellow going to be a 20 amp fuse that's to the fuel pump then you want to crank the engine over until it stops running on its own that's going to relieve the fuel pressure from the high pressure fuel pump so it doesn't spray you in the face with fuel when you try to remove it right, so apparently taking that fuse out is not good enough you must also disconnect the electrical connector to the high pressure fuel pump first then crank it and it'll finally die I had the fuse only pulled out and it just kept on running. So I shut it off, I unplugged that, started it up again, took a second or two, it finally died out. So now there shouldn't be a bunch of high pressure fuel in there when we try to take this line off right here with a wrench. Alright, so we went ahead and removed all four ignition coils, just 10 millimeter bolt on each one. Set them off to the side here. They're going to look like this on the connector with a gray piece pushed down into it. That's your lock tab. You want to get a flathead screwdriver or a pick or something like that and pry it upwards so it looks like this one. Then you can push in on the black part and then it should unplug no problem. And you'll want to do that to all four of them and remove them from the vehicle. Then I'm going to go ahead and take these three 10 millimeters off that holds the wiring onto the valve cover. So now that's what that looks like once we got the wiring harness kind of up and out of the way with those bolts removed. There is a ground that bolts right here with one bolt and uh, you can kind of see where I disconnected it and you'll need to take that off to give yourself enough slack to pull this over otherwise you won't be able to pull that over as far. So now I'm going to take a bungee cord or something and I'm going to hold this off to the side probably wrap it around that or something and then Pretty much the only thing we have left is to get that fuel pump off there and we can start taking the valve cover bolts off. All right, so now, for this line, you basically just lift this up like that and then there's this little gray piece in there and you need to push the whole line in. You need to keep this pushed in with a little flat head or something like that and keep that pushed in as you pull out and it'll unplug. And then on this one, you just simply loosen it with a wrench, and then we can remove it with two 10 millimeter bolts. What the fuel pump's gonna look like once you got it removed, or at least the high pressure one. There still is a fuel pump in the gas tank, but it kinda looks like a thermostat. But um, you just take those out and try to loosen them somewhat evenly, a little on each side, because there is a spring on there. Also, you wanna be very careful not to drop anything down into that hole 
but otherwise you know that line right here that stiff one there's not much movement you're going to get on that so you're going to have to kind of work around it you can get the fuel pump out pretty easy but the valve cover we're just going to have to see how it comes out what we got to do i know i've done this job before i just don't remember how i worked around that fuel line because it's definitely pretty stiff you don't have a whole lot of movement and down in there where it routes into seems kind of a pain to get to to get some more slack so i'm just going to go around the edge of the valve cover here start removing the 10 millimeter bolts and we'll see if we can't just get it out like that right now we've gone around the outer perimeter of the valve cover we've removed all the bolts there's also two bolts right next to the fuel pump area that need to be removed and there's also three bolts in the middle don't forget those either before you start prying it up because you can crack the valve cover so now we should be able to pry up on the valve cover wherever we can find a spot and lift it up a little bit and it should come out of there all right so with a little bit of prying and pulling i was able to get that valve cover removed from the top of the engine we got it right there gotta clean it up a little bit we got the gasket off as well and now cleaned off the outer perimeter as well as the area where the spark plug tube seals go. It's also a good idea to remove this old RTV and put another little glob in those couple spots there right at the corner. If you don't have that, it's probably not the end of the world, but I do want to bring it up that it is recommended to do that. Otherwise, you can go ahead and put the new gasket into your valve cover after you clean it up a little bit, and we're going to reverse the procedure. All right, so we got this cleaned up a little bit, got the gasket in place all around the edge, as well as the spark plug tube seals. They're a little easier to see when they're blue like a felpro but this is a mall or a male or however you say it gasket that was the only one they had available so uh, we got this ready to put back in the vehicle we just got to flip it upside down kind of work it in around that fuel line we should be good to go another thing i want to mention is there's a bracket that bolts in right here that kind of sticks up a little bit and then there's also this bracket that holds the wiring that bolts right here. I did take those off just to give me a little bit of extra room because basically you want to pull it all the way up even and then tilt it this way a little and pull it out. But you have to pull the whole thing up a little so it'll clear this little step here where the fuel pump goes. And you should be able to get it out from around that stiff fuel line over there. So I'm going to go ahead and work it back in. We'll get our bolts put back on guys so we got the valve cover back on we got all the bolts in and tightened back up you kind of want to start in the middle and then work your way out and then kind of go in a crisscross pattern around it you don't want to just go around the edge and tighten them down because it won't tighten up evenly i do want to say that there is a bolt like right around here on the side of the head that holds this fuel line in and it's probably a good idea to go ahead and just take that off anyway and it gives you a little bit more slack if you have a blue fill pro gasket that actually stays in the valve cover like it's supposed to then you should be all right but unfortunately on mine this gasket did not want to stay in place when i was trying to put it on partially because of that fuel line and partially because it was a little bit loose so just a heads up on that I loosened this, kind of pulled it back, gave me a little bit more room, took a 3 8 ratchet and an extension right through here, and it goes straight over into it. It's literally like right below my hand or finger. It's like right in here. Also, now that we got that back on, I went ahead and put this bracket back on, which is what I was talking about earlier that I had to take off. And then I can also put this 10 millimeter back in. So we're going to go ahead and do that, put the fuel pump and coils back in, attach the harness, attach the hoses, and we'll be all finished up. Alright, so we got the fuel pump reconnected, you just got to get this lined up, tighten the nut down. This part literally just pushes back in and you clamp that down and you plug it back in. We got this hose reconnected, we got this hose reconnected. We got all of our coils back in, plugged in, bolted down, locking tabs pushed back in. We got our three bolts put back into the harness here we got our ground put back on over here definitely don't forget that and then the only other thing we got to do is put the engine cover back on since we did take that fuel pump uh, off we'll probably have to prime it a little bit we also don't want to forget to go ahead and put our fuse back in place and then we'll make sure she starts up she's not leaking like crazy and we will be done get in here and we'll turn the key a few times get that fuel pump to prime the system and it starts up excellent job well done 
video for today, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.